Windows 10 includes a number of advanced boot options that you can access when your computer starts up. These options can help troubleshoot and repair startup problems, as well as recover your system from backup. You can access these options in a number of ways. To get to them from Windows, just hold down the Shift key on your keyboard while selecting Restart from the power icon, both on the Sign In screen and on the Start menu. You can also access them by going to the Settings icon on the lower left of the Start menu, then going to Update and Security, followed by Recovery from the left hand side. Under Advanced Startup, tap or click the Restart Now button, which will reboot your PC and take you straight to the startup options. If your computer's got a serious problem and you can't get into Windows, you'll also be able to load the repair options automatically on the second failed startup attempt. Otherwise, you can also load them manually in a couple of ways. One way is to start your PC from the Windows setup disk if you have it, then choose Repair Your Computer from the Install screen to load the startup options. Or, you can start your PC from a USB recovery drive, which we've explored in a separate video. Once it's loaded, just choose your keyboard layout from the list, after which it'll load the same menu. Note that if your PC doesn't load the setup disk or recovery drive and continues to start up as normal, you'll need to access your PC's boot menu and manually set it to start from the DVD or USB drive. To do that, you'll need to restart your PC again and press a specific key when the initial startup screen appears. This will vary between manufacturers, but is usually the escape key or one of the function keys along the top row of your keyboard. Note that you might need to tap the key repeatedly a few times to get the timing just right. To get to the boot menu on tablet devices, you'll need to hold down a specific button on the device while turning it on. Check your computer's manual for the correct procedure or do a web search for your specific device model. The boot menu will look a little different depending on your device manufacturer, but once you've accessed it, you'll be able to choose which drive you want to boot from just this once. Now that we've covered the different ways you can get to these options, let's take a look at what you can do once you get there. On most systems, you'll have three choices. You can exit and continue loading Windows as normal, troubleshoot your PC if you've got a problem, or turn it off when you're done. Let's explore the troubleshooting options. From here, you can reset your PC, which reinstalls Windows and removes all your apps, but lets you keep your personal files if you want to. We've got a separate video on how to reset your PC, so check it out for more details. You can also access a number of advanced options to help repair or recover your PC. For example, System Restore lets you recover Windows to an earlier point in time without affecting your files. We've also covered System Restore in another video, so take a look if you haven't already. System Image Recovery, on the other hand, restores your entire system to an earlier point in time, including Windows and all your apps, files, and settings. Image recovery has been phased out in Windows 10 by the Reset PC and File History features, so it's included here mainly for people who've upgraded from earlier versions of Windows. The next task you can perform is a startup repair, which we'll do now. This tool can detect and resolve common startup problems automatically, so it's a good starting point if you're unable to get into Windows. Once it's loaded, select an administrator account from the list, then enter the password. If you need to change your keyboard layout, use the link below. Otherwise, hit Continue on the right. Windows will then check your PC for any problems and attempt to fix them automatically, which will take a couple of minutes. When it's done, it'll let you know if it was successful, which in our case, it wasn't, since our PC's working okay, so there's nothing to repair. To finish up, you can either shut down or return to the main menu, where you can get back to the advanced troubleshooting options. The next tool available is the Command Prompt, which you can use to enter custom commands manually from the keyboard. This option is for advanced users, so we won't cover it in this video. To close the window, just click the cross on the upper right. Another useful tool from the advanced options is the startup settings, which lets you modify how Windows starts up. Note that these options aren't available if you start your PC from a recovery drive, so keep that in mind if you need to access them. To proceed, click the Restart button, then, once your PC is rebooted, Use the number keys or function keys on your keyboard to choose an option from the startup menu. The most common one you're likely to use is number 4, which starts your PC in safe mode. This loads a basic version of Windows with just the essential components it needs to function. It's kind of like a backdoor to Windows if you're unable to access it normally. Once it's loaded, sign into your PC as normal, after which you'll see a minimal version of your desktop where you can access the usual tools to help you troubleshoot your PC. For example, 
You can open the Start menu and go to Settings on the lower left. Then go to Apps to remove any recent apps you installed that might be causing the problem. Or you could go back home and select Update and Security instead, where you can do things like run a Windows Defender security scan, troubleshoot your PC using one of the many built-in troubleshooters, or recover your PC if all else fails. We've got separate videos on all these features, so check them out if you haven't already. To exit Safe Mode when you're done, just open the Start menu and either shut down or restart in the usual way. Note that Safe Mode doesn't include the ability to access the Internet, so if you need to get online, choose Safe Mode with Networking from the Startup Settings menu. This way, you can download any software updates or device drivers, for example. The rest of the options here are for advanced users and support professionals, so are beyond the scope of this video. To restart the PC when you're done, press the Enter key on your keyboard, or to return to the main menu, press F10 followed by the number 1 key. So if your PC ever has trouble starting up, use the Advanced Boot menu to troubleshoot, repair, and recover your system.